Lance and Rick for my star. <laughs> So wait, so you're saying that in a bi society, everybody goes off to their own clubhouses and don't, doesn't bother, no one bothers to figure out the opposite sex? You would, you'd always have that option of just backing out into your own gender, which I think is, is less... What you're saying is that I have a fight with my wife, so I go hang out and, and, and make out with dudes, which doesn't seem like a reasonable reaction to... to not getting along with your I mean, when you don't get along with your wife, you just go jack off to the internet, like a regular person. You don't go make out with dudes. Yeah, but in the world you're going to create, where men marry men, uh, also there will be uh, there will be polygamy as well. You know, that'll come in as well, and adult incest. There's no reason not to have that too. So you're going to no, have, that's, you're that, gonna now, have you're, now you're now you're doing the slippery slope to guys marrying horses. Well, why would there be a reason not to have that? Well, because you can't have a marriage with a frickin' horse. And well, my uh, point that, is, my I'd point hate is, slippery slope my, arguments in general. But, but what that is exactly what we're talking about. Do we slope, do we go down a certain No, path? you're not going down a slope. You're just letting people do what they want to do, which is have fairly traditional marriages, but for the same sex. Yeah, what if they want to marry their adult sister? What if I they want to marry two guys and two women? What if, how about a quintuplet marriage? I don't know. I mean, you've got poly people, but I can't imagine that that is going to infect society. Why not? That, that's all they had up until the, uh, the Middle Ages. What, people in five-way marriages? They're um, all, pretty much all marriages, even to this day in the Middle East, were polygamous. Well, it's an, it's, uh, it, I don't it's, see any. Even Jews were polygamous. I don't see anybody really pushing for poly marriages right yeah, now. But they will. Why wouldn't they? If two men can get married and two women can get married, why not have one man and three women? Why not three men and one woman? But that doesn't seem like a thing that would infect the general population. But it ain't already, oh, well, hold on, hold on. So, it already has. so you say historically, are there any societies, any nations on Earth today that are that are pretty easygoing about gay marriage oh, that have gone? Are there any nations that are by the way you say that the U.S. will be by the way Babylon was by? Today, no, but there are polygamous nations all over Africa and the Middle East. There's still polygamy. There's even, there's even polygamy where there's two men and one woman in certain parts of uh, Asia Minor, in, uh, in Asia, in Central Asia. Well, so, what, what nations? What places? Um, I could look up the name of an African country that's polygamous, but the Muslim African countries are polygamous. But I, so that's what we're going to have here. We're gonna, if you marriage let, will uh, be a circus. Society will just be anybody marrying anybody. You won't be able to leave your kid with anybody because you don't know who they're going to be interested in. Uh, Wait, well, hold on. You're, that now it sounds like you're saying that gay marriage, is le gay marriage encourages pedophilia. Well, I don't believe that we should have... Uh, I don't believe that we should have gay scout leaders either. I think we should have heterosexual yep. scout leaders. Well, you shouldn't be. Shouldn't scout it be leader. on an individual basis to see if? I I can't imagine that that a gay dude is more likely to is statistically more likely to to, to diddle a kid than. Oh, I'm not saying gays are, are are pedophiles. I'm saying that a 17 year old boy in the Boy Scouts is going to be attractive to a male scout leader that's in his 30s and 40s. Why wouldn't he be? I'm attracted to 17-year-old girls. So you, should you not be around 17-year-old girls? I do not put me on a camping trip with five 17-year-old girls. Bad idea. Even I, I'll opt out on that. So why should we trust any man to be on a scouting trip with any group of boys? Well, you, maybe you give them some kind of interview to... to... An interview? Rick, I, it, it just seems like you're you're not 
trusting gay dudes to to be to behave ethically. I don't you trust, have, and I don't trust heterosexual men to be Girl Scout. Uh, so, so, uh, so, so that means you can't. Leaders. That means I nobody. I would not put heterosexual men in with a troop of Girl Scouts. Well, that means nobody can teach high school. Because you've got adult people. Well, there's a dif difference between teaching a high school and being on a camping trip out by a river where people are running around half naked for a week. That's ridiculous. I've been on camping trips and there was nobody got close to diddling anybody. Well, it must not have been much of a camping Were trip. Were you a Boy Scout? <laughs> no. All right, I was a Boy Scout. Not for long, but for a while. And I. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Lower your head, please. Okay. You're making a lot of slippery slope arguments where... The adoption of something new is a slippery slope. You're already going down a slope. It, it's a step, and it's not a slope. It, and it doesn't lead to... Allowing gay marriage doesn't lead to an entire circus of everybody trying to diddle everybody. I, I don't, I, allowing gay marriage is already allowing uh, role right now. There, there's a woman that lost her business because she wouldn't do, she wouldn't bake a cake for a gay wedding. What about things like that? I mean, there are legal ramifications as well as adoption. There's, there's what about churches that, perf that refuse to perform gay marriages? There, 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 there so, are hundreds of things that will happen that are unforeseen circumstances. Whereas the way we've had it up till now, gay people can live together. They, they have, there's right, no But hold on, so gay marriage problem. has been going for several years in yes. a lot of places and... I'll tell you one thing, statistically now, it turns out that gay parents raise more often gay kids. And for a long time, they didn't know that. For a long time, they thought, oh, it won't have any Wait, effect on the kid. Are... When gay parents raise a kid, the kid is more likely to become gay. By how much? And where, where are your small statistics? Percentage. It, it, for a long time, that was doubted. They used to say, oh, it has no effect. But the most recent statistics show that the From kid whom? is more likely to become Who's gay. Who's frickin' statistics? I don't know. I, we'd have to look it up, but I assure you it's true. And, and you will find a study that says the opposite, but... What about your common sense? I mean, forget the studies. What do you think? If you were, if you were uh, raising a kid and both of you were gay, you think the kid would be more interested in being gay or less? I think the kid would be fairly accepting of being gay, but yeah. I think what gives people boners and girl boners is more up to biology than who raises Absolutely you. Absolutely not. Let me tell you something. There are societies where you would get a boner if a woman had her feet bound so they look completely deformed. What about ancient China? What about different tastes? What about parts of Africa where they want a buttocks to be incredibly large to the point where we wouldn't be attracted at all? Of course sexuality is completely fluid. Not, it, it's, no, it's not completely fluid well, it, because it's we're evolved fluid. creatures who need to have, do heterosexual fucking to make the next generation of people. And we have 7.3 billion people, each person created by heterose through heterosexual fucking. All right, well, let me t put it this way. The ancient Greeks had a phrase, uh, men for pleasure, women for babies. So they, they, got it, they got it over with. They managed to get through it. They endured it long enough to have an heir. But I assure you that the sexual behavior of a society can be completely changed. They put up with it. And that's what you want America to be. You want America to be a circus where anything sexual goes. Well, our, our, well, okay, okay, hold on. That, let's, but, let's talk circus because okay. I believe that America will, and the world will turn into a circus, but not a sexually licentious. It won't become a circus because we allow gays to marry. Everything's going to turn into a circus because the AI robotic future is coming. 
And it's going to be a circus with people having robot girlfriends <laughs> and boyfriends and all the, the, the insidious changes that you think your slippery slope is going to cause to America's statistically average sexuality is going to be dwarfed by the changes in sexuality that are caused by technology. Uh, already, they've done studies that show that the amount of teen fucking and just adult fucking, it's fucking is down uh -huh. statistically. People do less fucking now because there's more stuff to do. Um, people do less fucking now because there's more stuff to do um, because of technology. You can relax your arms. Okay. We're kids of the 70s. Right. We grew up, we first started to try to get laid in the 70s. In the 70s, everything fucking sucked but sex. Food was terrible. TV was terrible. Um, decor and clothing were ridiculous. Yeah. Everything was just, it was bleh. Um, but not that I was having sex in the 70s. But sorry, I wanted to. I'm sorry. Um, you got laid a lot in the 70s. You went to Pally High. <laughs> but I was one of the few Jews at Boulder High, and I, I had said, no I just, game. I just want to say, my skin did have to clear up first. All right. Well, but there was nothing but sex for people to think was, was awesome in the 70s. You know, maybe some muscle cars and maybe some, you know, some, some, you know, fog hat or... or Boston or... We, we're going to agree on this because statistically during the times when, the, uh, when there are uh, blackouts and people can't watch the TV, that's when uh, more children are conceived. So I, I agree with you there. There, there, will be, there will be an effect from all the technology. Okay. I, want, I can't argue with you on that one. All right. So less important in changing the behavior of the nation is that we are going to be having robot girlfriends.